How's it going? David Cramble here with another FL Studio tutorial. Um, I got a question from somebody asking about the recording pop-up window. Now normally when you click record, this pop-up window will come up asking you if you want to record audio into the Edison recorder, audio into the playlist, automation and score, everything, and then show me some more help. Well this person got a little bit confused and clicked the don't ask this in the future and selected something and well needless to say now when he hits record that window doesn't come up well in a previous video I kinda showed how to right click and select what you want to record so if you want to record audio you can check audio and if you want to record automation you can check automation well this may not be the way that you want to record or the way that you're used to recording in the last video that I made about this subject, I had mentioned there's really no easy way to get the window back. Well, I, I forgot about one feature that FL Studio has where you can actually restore all the original settings back to FL Studio. The, the drawback about this is if you've changed the way that your mixer looks from this fat looking one to the, the thinner tracks. Um, or if you've made any changes to FL Studio at all those changes are going to be restored back to the original settings so I'll show you how to get the window back and I'll show you how to get all your settings back as well what you'll have to look at so um, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and get out of FL Studio and close it you're going to want to go to your start menu your programs you want to go down to the image line or the FL Studio 10 folder and then the F, uh, yeah, in the FL Studio 10 folder, click Advanced, and you'll see Reset Settings. Now, what Reset Settings does is it resets all the settings in within FL Studio back to the original settings. Now, it's not going to get rid of any of your plugins or anything like that, and it's not going to get rid of any of your projects, but it will reset the original settings or the settings that you have back to the original so your recording window is going to come back but the downside is is you're not going to be using the ACO driver you're going to have to set that back to the default driver and thing, different things like that so I'll go ahead and say reset settings it's going to ask me your personal settings will be reset is that what you want well yeah that's what we want okay so now let's go ahead and open FL Studio back up and you'll see it's as if we first installed it it's pulled up this new project this uh, demo project if you will and we'll go ahead and play it so okay so pretty neat song now let's just hit the record button there it is the windows back up awesome However, one thing we might notice is if we go to audio settings, on the input and output, it's saying primary sound driver. You may have been using the primary sound driver, but for me and a lot of people who like to record audio, we've probably been using either our sound cards, ACO driver, or uh, ACO for all. So I'm going to go ahead and select ACO for all again, and then I'll hit close. And that's pretty much all the settings that I need to change. Everything else is pretty much the same. So now you know how to get your settings back to the original way, and then you can tweak them however you need to. But this is generally how to get that recording window back, as well as if you've made any settings and you don't know how to get back to the original. It's a good quick way to kind of start all over. All right, my name is David Crandall. That concludes this tutorial. Hope this has helped you. Very quick tutorial, and until next time, please subscribe to this channel, and uh, send me any questions, comments, or video tutorial ideas that you may have, and until later, have fun making music.